Yo guys, what's going on? On Good Productions here, coming at you with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to get those crazy line drawing effects that something like Cole Bennett does in his videos. You've seen a lot in his videos. And yeah, it's a really cool effect. You can be super creative with it. You can do whatever you want. There's so many different ways you can go with it. And yeah, let me show you. I'm going to show you guys some examples in, of videos that I've done before. So this is my young band, Lonely, featuring Little Skies edit that I did for um, this guy that I know. If you haven't seen this video, check it out. It's a really dope video. Yeah, anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. So for this actual, to pull off this actual uh, effect, you're actually gonna be, wanna be working in Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. So we're gonna be working with Dynamic Link. So if you don't have After Effects, uh, I don't know, you could probably pull it off another way within Premiere, but for me, I'm working with After Effects and Premiere. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get your actual clip. Like you just wanna get any stock clip, any footage that you have of anyone or anything. And you're gonna actually drag it on your timeline. You're gonna click it, you're gonna right click it. And then you're just gonna click replace with After Effects composition. I've actually already gone ahead and done that for the purpose of this video. So once you click after, replace with After Effects composition, it's actually just gonna pull up After Effects. And now you just have After Effects open with your actual footage of the clip. So now whatever I do to this clip within After Effects, it's gonna happen in Premiere. So any effects that I do within After Effects that I can't do in Premiere, it'll just automatically put it into the Premiere file. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to double click the actual uh, composition and it's gonna open up the layer part of the composition. So just make sure it says layer, just keep clicking it until it says layer. So now within that, we're gonna now come over to our paint effect, the paintbrush. And now this is basically where the whole drawing starts. The first thing you wanna make sure before you start the whole drawing process is you go down to your paint toolbar right here and you make sure that the duration is in single frame. If it's on anything else then the effect won't work because basically what you're doing is you're drawing one paint stroke and then you're framing over, you're going one keyframe over or one frame over and then you're just drawing another one, the next one. So it looks like a line or anything is just animating across whoever or whatever you're trying to do. So once you're on single frame, you could just go into the painting and pick any color that you'd like. So let's just pick green. And then you also have your brushes tool and all that stuff. So you're gonna wanna start at the beginning and you're gonna wanna draw just a single line, something like this, just to start. And then since I'm on MacBook, I click Command and then right on the keyboard, and that brings me to the next frame. So if I go back, Command left, there's that, Command right. So then on the next frame, I'm gonna just draw another one. And then it's just rinse and repeat. Draw the, the line, Command right, draw the line a little bit further up, Command right, draw the line, Command right, draw the line, Command right, draw the line, Command right. So just the same thing over and over, guys, until you get the desired effect that you're looking for. Um, it's really simple, it's really not that hard, but you can really be super creative with it and create your own style and different way of doing it. It doesn't always have to be the same thing. So, so yeah guys, I just went ahead and did a little line drawing effect, super, something super easy, not really that good, not, I didn't put a lot of work into it, but just as a quick example to show you guys what it should look like at the end or something like that. So something like that, just super quick, super easy, and that's the effect that you guys will get. And then once you actually have finished it, the drawing in After Effects, go ahead and save this file, so file, save and now that all you if once you go back into premiere it automatically link it back into premiere so once i click play on the premiere file all right so yeah once you guys bring it back into premiere uh all you have to do is click play and you'll see it automatically just brought whatever i was doing back into my premiere file and yeah guys that's pretty much it um you can get as creative as you want with this there's totally so many different ways that you can go with this it's a really dope effect to put into your videos to add a little bit more flavor to and a whole bunch of other stuff also, if you guys aren't following me already on Instagram, make sure you hit that follow button on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe on this video if it helps you in any way. And yeah, stay tuned for more uh, editing videos coming soon and all that kind of stuff, guys. Peace.